but um, My fan in the Hilton taxi. Okay. See for you. Hello, welcome các bạn đã quay trở lại với kênh Uy Quỳnh cuộc sống Mỹ hôm nay. Thì hôm nay Uy Quỳnh nói trên đường đi đổ xăng đây. Nhưng mà thật ra trên đoạn đường này có rất là nhiều người vô gia cư đó cả nhà. Thì cũng sẵn dịp này Uy Quỳnh gửi tiền của những mạnh thường quân gửi cho các người vô gia cư đó. Hôm nay thì Uy Quỳnh gửi tiền của chị nữ ở Hilton taxi với lại anh ca ở Palaxi cho những người bất hạnh vô gia cư hôm nay là ngày lễ trên đường thì không có nhiều xe lắm và những cơ sở thương mại hôm nay họ cũng đóng cửa nhưng mà những người vô gia cư thì một số người họ vẫn đứng xin tiền họ vẫn đến nơi xin tiền hôm nay thì mình đổ xăng trên con đường này thì mình gặp được những người vô gia cư thì yên quỳnh sẽ đến cho họ tiền và chia sẻ cuộc sống của họ một ít về cuộc sống của họ đây là cả nhà đây là anh này anh vô gia cư anh làm công việc 25 năm rồi nhưng mà vừa mất việc hai tháng ấy vừa mất việc và đi hôm lát hai tháng nay thôi còn phải nuôi con nhỏ nữa rất là đáng thương anh ấy nói chuyện với Nguyên Quỳnh đó mà anh ấy khóc và Nguyên Quỳnh cũng thấy rất là xót xa nào bây giờ chúng ta sẽ đến với phần chia sẻ của anh ấy nhé Em xin cảm ơn chị nữ nha, đã trở tiền để cho em giúp đỡ những người vô gia cư bất hạnh. How are you? Very good. I, uh, I go to the construction. Yeah. They give me the phone, you can call them. Okay. And uh, go to work. Okay. Okay. Go work. Uh -huh. Yeah, Thank yeah you. they need somebody help. And this is my friend in the Hilton taxi. Okay. She give for you. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, man. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> Can you, you say uh, thank you with her? God bless you. Thank you so much. Okay. When uh, when when uh, when when they want work? So. You want call now? I can give it for you the phone. You can call now. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. And and where where they work? Fifteen minutes from here. How many? Fifteen. Fifteen minutes from here. Maravo, you said? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, oh. You want to call? Yeah? Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, you can call. Okay. Let's see. Thank you. And what, what the name? Right here. Name right here. One, yeah. Two, seven, oh, eight. Joe's, huh? Yeah, I think Saint so. Tom. And what that restaurant? What kind? The congestion. Build a house. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, I was given this number. Um, uh, a friend of mine said I might need some help, some work. Yes, sir. Say who gave you the number? What's your Simi, yeah. Simi? Uh, Simi? Okay, you mean uh my phone's broke, you mean just call you back tomorrow? About uh, noon? Yes sir, and what's your name? Okay. Okay, my name is John. I'll call you tomorrow around noon. Alright, thank you man. Say 
yeah, he said call tomorrow around noon. He said he's gonna talk to his guys and see if he could get me on. So call him tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Good luck to yeah. you, okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate okay. it. Okay. I hope you're okay. Yeah, man. I, like I have uh, meet you in there, okay? Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. You can go. Have a good day. Thank you. God bless you. Remember, call tomorrow, okay? Gotcha. Okay. You're beautiful. Thank you. Bye. 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 luôn. Dù ngày mới gọi lại nhưng mà cũng tốt. Có hy vọng. Còn hơn là không có hy vọng nha các bạn. Bye. Bây giờ là mình sẽ đi tới một người nữa. single dad and, and I have a son who battles with mental health problems. Yes. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Where you live? Uh, under, near West Wego, that way. Yes, ma'am. I, uh, I continue to try to do the best I can. I'm a single father. Uh, my son has, my, yeah. My son has uh, mental health problems and I battle mental health with crying now. Um, he battles with schizophrenia. He has a mental condition, um, and his mom left him, me and him. So I raised him by myself, and it's hard. It's very hard on me, and it's hard to get food. It's hard to get clothing. It's hard to get everything. And I don't really stuck right now, you know. But I'm trying to get government assistance. And it takes time. And I can't just get it right away. They don't give you assistance right away, so I'm waiting. I'm waiting on unemployment, actually. I worked all my life, I'm 50 years old, and I got hurt two months ago. And that's when they laid me off, my company laid me off. And ever since then, it's been very rough, you know? And I don't have parents, I don't have nobody to turn to. So. I don't do this often. This is maybe once a month, once every two months when I need it, you know? And uh, after the day's over with, I go to the grocery store and I get whatever I can. And I get clothing for my son. And he's my life. You know, my son is my life. And I do anything for him, you know? And uh, there are people out here, uh, homeless guys like myself, who I see drink, uh, do, looks like they do drugs. And I'm just out here trying to get food and, and basic needs. And the government should do a lot more to help single fathers with mental health conditions and my son, you know. But I know I'll make it with the grace of God. I have faith. I'm a strong man and I know things will turn out okay. 
it's just a waiting period, you know, waiting for this assistance. What are you supposed to do when you're waiting and you have nowhere to go? What that job before you have? What job? I worked on a tugboat, uh, the Mississippi River. I did that for 25 years. Wow. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, years? it was rough, rough work, but uh, I enjoyed it and would love to go back. You know, as soon as this is over, uh, nobody's hiring right now. I've, I've even went to McDonald's. Well, I've been all over waiting for phone calls. I've checked in, you know, a day or two later just to see about my application and. and for me, I'm not too sure, but it, I believe that if you're homeless, they see you're not wearing good clothes, uh, you're homeless, again, um, they tend not to hire you, right? You know, they tend to hire the guys or girls that look a little better maybe, dress a little better, but when you have nothing and you're trying, um, you don't have good clothes, you know? You don't have these luxuries like I used to, you know, when I was working. And that's all I really need if, if I get hired somewhere, you know? I'd much rather be working than being out here. This is not a life for anyone, nobody. But I, I just, I thank God, man, for the people who have my heart, who, you know, I'd give my shirt off my back right now if you needed it, you know? It's just the type of person I am, but. I just appreciate, you know, assistance here and there. I just wish I could get a job. And it's, it, How long do you go out and apply that? It's two months, man. Two but, months? Yes, yeah. Two months waiting on unemployment check. I should have I should have received a check for about twelve hundred dollars uh, about two months ago. And I, I have unemployment. You have to have before, right? Oh yes, yes, yes. I do. When I lost my job. I lost everything. I was not, I mean, I did not own a house. I rented and we, you know, me, we, I got kicked out, you know, and my job wasn't helping me. Unemployment, where are you at? It's been two months and I still haven't received my first check. This, I mean, either a job or an unemployment check and I, I'll be okay. But once that comes in, I, I should be able to, to stay off the streets and all that. This is the first, last, and only time I've ever had to stay on the street. And it's rough. But God bless everybody who, who's in my position, who's really honestly trying to support their son or support yourself in a good way, positive way. Uh, God bless them, and I hope, every, I hope it goes well, you know? Because I know I'll make it with the grace of God. I'm 50 now, worked 20, 25 years on a tugboat. I did uh, apartment maintenance at an apartment complex for about four years straight. Um, man, I, I did a lot. I was cutting grass. I mean, you name it, I do it. You know, I'm a handyman, so um, if anybody can hire me, let me know. <laughs> I sure appreciate the job. Where your wife now? My wife. Uh, she she left me, and she went with another guy, and basically gave up on our, our son. And that, that's the hardest part. If I was by myself, I'd be okay. But uh, I have a son to raise, and he has mental conditions. Uh, it's hereditary, it runs in the family. So I, I'm thinking he got it for me, you know, on my family. How but old your son? He's uh, 12. 12, and he's still, he, yes, he, he's still growing. Uh, I'm very proud of him. Uh, Having to deal with his condition, like he's doing, he's, he's a soldier. He, he really is. He's a good kid. Very respectful. Um, I raised him very right, man, you know. And when I come out here, like I said, it's only when I need to. And at the end of the day, if someone even would like to follow me, and I'll show you where the money goes. It's either the grocery store and West we go or Morero on the way home and I usually got bags you know that I carry um, but I do the best I can you know right now where you live here and there yeah no 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 it's towards West we go but it's it's like here and there um sometime it'll be on the street 
sometimes a friend of mine or someone will come tap me and allow me to spend a night by their house, which is just a blessing. Um, especially when it's raining, you know, it's it's, it's hard. And then I see that I see there's a lot of people like in my in my shoes, but I just don't understand why people would come out come out here, stay in here and hold a sign and go buy alcohol, drugs, or something like that. I just it, I, I can't understand it. I was raised um, the right way. You know? I was raised with respect and just. Good morning. Maybe an hour, ma'am. I might have made, I made two bucks. Two dollars. But no, one hour. One hour right here, yes, ma'am. But uh, you come here before, I, I never see you here. Uh, it's it's been a, about a month and a half ago. I was doing okay, working odds and ends for, uh, for a month and a half. And then, you know, unfortunately, it stopped and the job ended. I had to come here. It's been about a month and a half. Well, how can your son now? Oh, uh, he's just waiting. Basically, he's he's uh he's probably either at a, his a friend's house or trying to go see his mom. You know, uh, I mean, we do the best we can. I, I I I don't have anybody. You know, he lost uh, his grandma and grandpa on both sides of the family. He has only his mom and dad and her and uh, she basically don't she'll accept this call and talk to him but not for long it's it's she don't have time for him basically how, how many kids you have oh uh, i have two i have one one kid Just one. yes ma'am yes. can i see that what you yes ma'am like? yes ma'am and i speak when i put this on it i speak my heart and i speak truth it's a, home, a homeless single father with two beautiful children. I have one. I have one son, and one that I try to take care of uh, from another person that's disabled in a wheelchair. And he, his, his son is about my age, my son's age. Excuse me. So they hang around, and I try to take care of him also. You know, because his father don't do anything. I'm a single father with two beautiful children in desperate need. Uh, please, any help is a blessing. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a loaf of bread. It could be a gallon of milk. But this is me. Man. This is you know, unfortunately, I had to come out here this month uh, just just to, just to try to get the basic needs. You know, and I, again, I appreciate the people who, who want to help. Là ngày lễ đó các bạn ở trên đoạn đường này có khá là nhiều homeless Những người homeless ở đây á, thì cũng rất là tội nghiệp Và ngày này á, thì những người khác á, họ có gia đình á, thì họ sẽ đi tới gia đình Còn những người vô gia cư á, thì họ tụ tập như thế này Thank you. Very, thank, thank you very much. I really appreciate it, and it's gonna bring a smile on my son's face. And you're, you're a blessing, ma'am. Can I give you a hug? Uh, okay. Yeah, do that. Do that. <laughs> okay. Do that. Thank, thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. God bless you and your family. And do y'all, do y'all celebrate Thanksgiving today? No. No, happy okay? Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much, and pray for me, and I'll pray for you too. Thank you. God bless you. Have Thank you, ma'am. You too. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have a blessed day, ma'am. I think I'm gonna go get a water. Now, water? You want water? Yeah, I'm gonna. I have water. You do? I, yeah, I did for you. Thank you, no. Thank you so much.
Will you share that on, on Facebook or something? I have my friends here uh, give you the money. I share that a lot of people will see. They give the money for homeless people. Yes, ma'am. Well, i tell you what. Um, you are a blessing. And uh, we, me and my son will greatly appreciate that. Um, what I do, since we are sometimes on the street, sometimes I'll get bread, I'll get luncheon meat, I'll get mayonnaise, chips, uh, some vegetables, uh, I mean some uh, oranges and apples for me and my son. Uh, try to eat healthy. I'm trying to lose weight that, that I gained from working on the tugboat, you know. Do you say here every day? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, but some uh, when I need to, I'll come on here. Um, it's not every day, but today um, I'm not going to be out here long because you you helped, you know. I don't stay and like a lot of people I see, they'll stay all day. What do they need two, three hundred dollars for, or whatever? You don't need that much, you know. You must be going to do something else. So I get what I need. Thank God. And then I'll go get, you know, groceries. You know, it's, I mean, that's, that's, isn't that the, what, it, what, what it's supposed to be like, you know? It's supposed to, you know, if you do need help and you get help, go get what you need. Not foolish things, you know? But, man, it's been, been a blessing. I really appreciate everything, man. Uh, this surprised me. It surprised me today. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. You too, ma'am. Thank you so much. God bless you. Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video của mình. Nếu các bạn cảm thấy thích, vui lòng bấm like, share and subscribe kênh của mình nhé. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại trong next video.